Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. I greet you with special wishes in the triune name, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God. Today let's see how Holy Spirit God protects us. How is it possible that we always walk in this divine protection. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 15 and 16 And his inward affection is more abundant toward you, whilst he remembereth the obedience of you all, how with fear and trembling ye received it. I rejoice therefore that I have confidence in you in all things. See how Holy Spirit God is sharing his affection. See affection towards us. Where does he have that affection? It is inward affection. The, name, uh, the word inward is used here. See and his inward affection is more abundant. More abundant. It, is, it doesn't have a small or any uh, scales. It has a wider sense. See? It has a wider sense of affection. The inward affection is more abundant towards you. Whilst you remember it. See, how does he show that? How does he share the love? The affection? He thinks, he remembers. He remembers us. He remembers our doings, our deeds. See here, whilst he remembereth the obedience of you in all aspects. See, how do we obey him? That means, what is that? Uh, simply, does he want uh, to be dominant over us? Yes, of course. He, even if he dominates us, it is, it is not wrong because he has the authority. But what does he do? He doesn't want to show his uh, dominion. What does he want? He wants us to see, love him. And he sees that the obedience, he just watches us on what intention we obey him. That is where we stand. Let's see that. See, obedience out of fear, out of trembling, or out of fear of uh, punishment. That was the thing in the Old Testament. They were just, they, they had to be taught to be disciplined. And now, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are not expected of that type of obedience. Here, we have to obey on our free will. Do we love God? Because our thoughts are just now given importance now because Jesus came to cleanse our thoughts, cleanse our conscience. That's what that happened after, after the arrival of Jesus Christ. See, whilst he remembereth our obedience of you all how with fear and trembling ye received it. This fear and trembling, it doesn't ha do not have the meaning of the old covenant. Here there is a difference between uh, the old covenant fear and trembling with that of the new covenant fear and trembling. Because people always get confused with it, with this. This fear and trembling is out of love and affection. Whereas there in the old covenant, it is the fear of punishment what, what, which was making them obey. And that was the thing Lord God 
of Israel stopped that sacrifices because uh, God is going to introduce only one sacrifice, Jesus Christ. So this type of uh, changing over the system, why should God change the system? Because he is just teaching them to understand the divine principles, the divine nature of God. And man is slowly taught about the heavenly kingdom. And he was not able to understand the whole lot of it immediately. So it takes a long duration for man to understand the divinity. Now in this grace period, we fear and with trembling mode, we just believe God and follow God and we love our Lord and we obey to his commandments. We follow what he says. We follow the word of God. We prove ourselves with our deeds. How much do we love God? See, I rejoice therefore that I have confidence in you in all things. And now, the Holy Spirit God should have confidence in us. He should have confidence. That's what he is expecting. I should believe you. I need you. See, I, I, I rejoice therefore that I have confidence in you in all things. In all things, all that matters regarding your worldly life or the spiritual life or heavenly life, whatever it may be. In all things, we have to prove our obedience out of fear and trembling. This is, this fear, this trembling has the note of love and affection. And out of our free will, out of our enthusiastic deeds, we just do the will of God. We have to accept his love. The tremendous love that he has on us. That's why he has this inward affection and we should be able to realize that affection and enjoy the affection. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. For to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you whether ye be obedient in all things. Now we have to prove ourselves. Why should we prove? Because we have to show that we conquer the flesh. We conquer the world. We have to be witnesses now for Christ. We have to be witnesses for Holy Spirit God. We should be witnesses for Father God. So we should be able to prove ourselves in obedience that do in all things. That's what Paul says to Corinthians. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, What is our attitude? What is our intention? What type of thinking do we have? Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think of these things. Whatever circumstances you are living in, you have to think only this. What, what do you think? You have to think whatsoever things are pure, the pure things, the true things. The negativity feeling should be conquered by these thoughts. True Honest things, just things, and whatsoever things are lovely, lovely things, and whatever things, whatsoever things are of good report. Don't pay attention to the bad reports. If you get bad reports about anything in the circumstances in this world now, 
at present everybody is talking about the end of the world and uh, what are the things happening now now let us think about the good report what you are going to have in your eternal life that will make you run the race see now we have plenty of things on promise we have got plenty of good reports about our eternal life good blessings about our eternal life so when we think about all these blessed issues we will be able to cut short all the negativity in our life now let's hope for the best things because we are created for it we are for it now good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think of these things dear brethren we should have this sense of higher thinking higher values we have to give importance to the higher values so that we attain that in this difficult environment that's how we have to be with holy spirit god to prove our obedience in all things and we should enjoy and relax and relish his inward affection because he longs for us he cares for us he is he dwells in us and guides us in every aspect of life so we have to get the help of him we should not hurt him because he is all the time waiting for us to talk to him and get the help from him and he wants us to be the achievers of the world now the second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 5 and the lord direct your hearts into the love of god and to the patient waiting for christ see we are all waiting for the coming of jesus christ whether it is secret coming or the second coming whatever it may be we are all waiting for his coming so we have strong hope and faith and love that we are going to be with him and we are going to fly away from this earth and we have to have a eternal blissful and happy life that is true but who is helping us to achieve this target that is the lord that is holy spirit the lord Here he it says, "The Lord direct your hearts into the love of God." So we have to love Father God, and the Holy Spirit God helps us to love God, and He directs our heart. He controls our heart to an extent. He has a control over us, provided we give that control to Him. we cannot say i know everything i i will do whatever i like to do i want to do i wish to do yes of course you do it but get the help of holy spirit god just tell this is what you want to do this is how you want to do just tell him when he accepts you just carry on if he tells you to change yourself you have to change yourself that will be healthy for you Now that's what here the Lord directs your heart to love God and into the patient waiting for Christ. So we are all waiting for Christ and we have to be directed towards Christ towards heavenly father we have to be directed by holy spirit god to have contact with father god and lord jesus christ see now they are in heaven and we should have contact and holy spirit god is in us guiding us in all these aspects 
we can reach heavenly father in the name of jesus christ and in this secretly the third head holy spirit god is dwelling in us for example in the old covenant israelites just got redeemed from egypt and they were walking in the desert they were traveling in the desert for a long time maybe for so many reasons but when they are walking they have to lead a normal living how is it possible nearly 10 lakhs people how is it possible for them to travel such a long distance at least 3 days or uh, one week or one month or one year how is it possible for them to walk in the desert with having old and the young and for so many people who are living more than 100 years 200 years 300 years and in such a level there was a big atmosphere created there god created an atmosphere to cover them up in this atmosphere was almost like heaven see all these israelites their lifestyle they had to eat they had to have all their regular activities of their living because they were all human beings and together they were all walking day and night and they had some time to sleep on in the open air all the time they they cannot have a tent so the night they had to put the tent in the morning they had to get it back and then rolled up and then again walk so this type of living was blessed one because holy spirit god was functioning there as cloud in the daytime and fire in the night time see he was the one who was just covering up with heavenly protection the divine protection was there for them they had been walking in that protection for 40 years generation after generation and it was a mystery and it stopped when they landed in a safe place and when holy spirit god want, wants to give you protection he will give you according to the need of the hour according to the necessity as per your needs that is the reason why we have to enjoy his inward affection that's why he is expecting us to walk in obedience because it is in the spiritual realm and we have to be in the track of holy spirit god in the heavenly nature in the divine nature so the worldly the fleshy things the body actions the bodily needs should not be contradictory to the heavenly needs and it should not work against heavenly principles that's why he wants obedience in fear and trembling because this human beings is caught up in between the worldly things and the heavenly things that's why holy spirit god dwells in us and he has to be inside us leading us in comfort and wonder he is a comforter he is the blessing to us he remains blessing to us and gives his protection that is his name by his presence he is omnipresent he is omniscient he is omnipotent and he reveals himself inside us 
inward with inward affection and he just makes us achieve what god wants us to achieve so he builds up very good higher valuable relationship with jesus christ and father god he sustains the relationship he just encourages to grow in spiritual realm for what that is the only very big blessing that is for christ that is for christ he works with us and he reunites us with christ so we have to be united with christ and that's why holy spirit god is working in us and protecting us and he is going to rejoin us with christ already we are connected with christ and now christ has gone and holy spirit god is in us and christ we believe we operate faith through faith and by faith jesus dwells in us as god he is godly now and he is able to dwell in us and now we have to be literally rejoin in this world and that is the reason why holy spirit god is working in us with inward affection and with prayerful heart and leading our hearts to love god so that we are going to have a wonderful wonderful marvelous life eternally that bless you